Hello and welcome to Mr. Barton's Web Whiz video number 29, where once again I take you on a very quick tour through some of my favourite mathematical websites. Now I have made absolutely no secret of the fact that I am possibly Enrich's number one biggest fan. I absolutely adore that website and Anytime I'm after a rich problem, puzzle, activity, or just some inspiration, it is always my number one first choice stop. However, there is another website in town, and this is definitely on my list of websites to visit if I'm looking for that kind of inspiration. And the name of that website, if we Google it here, is A plus click math. Now, the eagle-eyed among you will have spotted the math, so it is an American site. So give that a little click, and this is it. Now, this website, as it says here, is a collection of maths and logic puzzles aimed to develop logical reasoning and creative thinking. And the quality and quantity of the puzzles on this website is absolutely phenomenal. Now, before we get started on that, let's get our head around this grading system, because if you're based in the UK, um, it's important that you know that the US system basically works on one less than us. So grade 12 in the US is our year 13. So 11 and 12 are our sixth form years. Grade 10 is t um, year 11, so top end GCSE and so on. So you can either, just like on Enrich, you can either search by kind of age group or you can search by uh, topic. So what I'm gonna do is first, I'm just gonna have a look at age group. So imagine you had a, a year 11 class. You want to develop their reasoning and, and logical thinking and creative thinking. So let's have a look at the uh, type of puzzles on offer. I mean, first thing to notice is the sheer quantity of them. There's absolutely loads of them flying around. They're organized um, into topic areas. So at the top, you've got your number in arithmetic. Then we get to the algebra problems. Scroll down, you get your geometry ones keep going loads of data ones in the mix there and then we get some logic puzzles at the bottom and some applied maths in fact as well if i just pick one of these problems at random uh we can have a bit of a deep uh, closer look at it so let's click on this one uh, a diagonal is a line joining two non-consecutive vertices of a polygon or polyhedron. How many different diagonals are in this cube? Now, what I absolutely love about this is the problems are always simply laid out like this. It's always just a single screen and there's multiple choice answers, which in my opinion makes it absolutely ideal for a starter activity. Just pop that up on the board and it's like the uh, UK math challenge in the fact that it's multiple choice, but the incorrect answers have been chosen in a way to address common misconceptions to try and trick your students. So um, on these WebWiz videos, I always like to try and focus in on ways of making practical use of the resource. And number one practical way of using this is to simply use it as a starter, just like that. Project it up on the board when the kids are coming in or have it up your sleeve if any students have finished their work and just see how they get on with it. Now, if you don't want the multiple choice aspect, you can always do a little print screen of this and just cut out the actual question itself and pop that on a PowerPoint or a, an interactive whiteboard software or something like that, okay? Now, I'll just show you how it works if you pick an answer. Say you think the uh, the answer's 12. Uh-oh, I've got that wrong. Um, if you scroll down the bottom, it gives you um, a really nice, clear explanation of um, how you actually get the correct answer and where you might have gone wrong. And then you have the option to either go on to the next question or choose question. Now, next question will randomly generate you another question from that grade level, so from grade 10. Choose question will take you back to the uh, home screen, where you, the grade 10 home screen, where you can pick another question out. And that leads me to the second main use of this. I always really struggle in computer room lessons to find something worthwhile to do. And I really hate just whizzing kids on my maths. Well, what's excellent about this is, you can stick them on a, a certain grade page, like grade 10 or grade nine or whatever, and say to them, okay, I want you to pick 10 puzzles at random. And what's really nice about it is this thing on the left-hand side of the screen keeps a track of how they're doing. So I've messed up my question one, so I've got a red thing. But if I got question two right, then it would go green. So let's pick this. Uh, something about two identical squares. Ooh, that's a tricky one. Um, I'm going to just take a guess at this one again. Oh, hello. That's nice. 0 0.5 square meters. Again, I get a nice little um, explanation of it there. And as you can see, it's recorded that I've got that right. So a nice computer room lesson might be to say to the students, OK, I want you to answer 10 questions. How many of those can you get right? Or set that as homework and the students have to produce a screenshot of their answers and email it to you as a record of their homework. But I just absolutely, um, I just absolutely love this website just for its quantity and quality of puzzles, and they are just really nicely put together. They 
they look deceptively simple but there are and the draw no big long explanations no pages and pages of notes or anything like that there's your problem can your students solve it so a really 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 nice website for rich puzzles problems and activities um, and I'm certainly going to be getting lots of use out, uh, over this, um, out of this, sorry, over the coming months and years. So there it is. It is aplusclick.com. Um, give that a search. Give it a go. And can you get your students onto the Hall of Fame? This bloke from Malaysia, 166 questions right in a row. Not a bad effort. And I'll be back with another WebWiz video next week. Bye for now.